Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you all know that we are discussing. Surveying and its categories. Today our topic is first fundamental technique. Of surveying. That is triangulation. So move towards our today's topic. Triangulation. Triangulation. Is a surveying method. That measures the angles in a triangle. Formed by three survey control points. Dot using trigonometry. And the measured length. Of just one side. The other distances in the triangle are calculated. The shape of the triangles. Is important as there is a lot of inaccuracy. In a long skinny triangle. But one with base angles of about 45 degrees. Is ideal. Each of the calculated distances. Is then used as one side. In another triangle to calculate. The distances to another point. Which in turn can start another triangle. This is done as often as necessary. To form a chain of triangles. Connecting the origin point to the survey control. In the place needed. The angles. And distances. Are then used with the initial known position. And complex formulae. To calculate the position. Latitude and longitude of all other points. In the triangulation network. Principle of triangulation. Entire area to be surveyed. Is converted into framework of triangles. If the length. And bearing of one side and three angles. Of the triangles are measured precisely. The lengths. And directions of other two sides. Can be computed. This method of surveying was first introduced by a Dutchman, called Snell. Precisely measured line, is called based line. Computed two lines, are used as base lines, for two interconnected triangles. Vertices of the individual triangles, are known as triangulation stations. Extending this process network, of triangles, can be computed over the entire area, as a check the length of one side, of last triangle, is also measured and compared, with the computed one. Subsidiary bases, are measured at suitable intervals to minimize accumulation of errors in lengths astronomical observations are made at intermediate stations to control the error in azimuth those triangulation stations are called laplace stations purpose of triangulation triangulation is a surveying method that measures the angles in a triangle formed by three survey control points using trigonometry and the measured length of just one side the other distances in the triangle are calculated to establish the accurate control points for plane and geodetic surveys of large areas to establish the accurate control points for photogrammetric surveys accurate location of engineering works classification of triangulation system the basis of the classification of triangulation figures is the accuracy with which the length and azimuth of a line of the triangulation are determined triangulation systems of different accuracies depend on the extent and the purpose of the survey. The accepted grades of triangulation are first order or primary triangulation, second order or secondary triangulation, third order or tertiary triangulation, first order or primary triangulation. The first order triangulation is of the highest order and is employed either to determine the Earth's figure or to furnish the most precise control points to which secondary triangulation may be connected. The primary triangulation system embraces the vast area usually the whole of the country. Every precaution is taken in making linear and angular measurements and in performing the reductions. Second order or secondary triangulation. The secondary triangulation consists of a number of points fixed within the framework of primary triangulation. The stations are fixed at close intervals so that the sizes of the triangles formed are smaller than the primary triangulation. The instruments and methods used are not of the same utmost refinement Third order or tertiary triangulation. The third order triangulation consists of a number of points fixed within the framework of secondary triangulation and forms the immediate control for detailed engineering and other surveys. The sizes of the triangles are small and instrument with moderate precision may be used. Layout of triangulation. The arrangement of the various triangles of a triangulation series is known as the layout of triangulation. There are three types of layout. Simple triangles in chain. Braced quadrilaterals in chain. Centered triangles and polygons. Simple triangles in chain. Used when control points. Are provided in a narrow strip. Of terrain. Such as a valley between two ridges. Rapid. And economical. Due to its simplicity. Of sighting only four other stations. And observations of long diagonals. Are avoided. Not provide any check. On the accuracy of observations. As there is only one route. Through which distances can be computed, check base lines, and astronomical observations, for azimuth, 
at frequent intervals, are very essential to avoid excessive accumulated air. Braced quadrilaterals in chain consists of figures containing four corner stations and observed diagonals. Braced quadrilateral system is treated to be the best arrangement of triangles as it provides a means of computing the lengths of the sides using different combination of the sides and angles. Centered triangles and polygons, it consists of figures containing centered polygons and centered triangles, it is used when vast area extending in all direction is required to be covered. The centered figures generally are quadrilaterals, pentagons, or hexagons, with central stations, provides proper check on the accuracy of the work, low progress of the work due to more settings of the instrument. Actors considered in selecting figure, simple triangles, should be preferably equilateral, braced quadrilaterals, should be preferably squares, centered polygons, should be regular, no angle of the figure, opposite a known side, should be small, the angles of simple triangles, should not be less than 45 degree, in case of quadrilaterals, no angle, should be less than 30 degree, in case of centered polygons, no angle, should be less than 40 degree. The sides of the figures should be of comparable length. If you guys enjoyed our today's video, then like, comment and share our today's video and subscribe our channel Civil Engineering Guru and support our channel to grow more. Thank you. Bye.